Hi guys, we're now on Dainanasho, chapter 7. And this is, for me, a bit confusing topic. Um, it's about insurance. Because in the Philippines, we're not that quite familiar with insurances. Insurance. However, in Japan, it's like a must or obligatory. It's some of this is not really obligatory. However, it 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 seemed to fall under obligatory. So yeah, let's begin. Shakai Hoken. So this is insurance. First, we have Nenkin Hoken, Irio Hoken, Rodosha Saigai Hosho Hoken, Koyo Hoken, Kaigo Hoken. So, um, these five in types of insurances, um, we'll discuss it one by one. So, the Nenkin Hoken. This is divided into two kiso nenkin um kiso nenkin or kokumin nenkin and then kosei nenkin kiso nenkin or kokumin nenkin this is like the basic insurance that we have for retirement and then the Kosei Nenkin is also going to be um, for retirement or disability. Um, Kiso Nenkin is also for disability. So, same, same thing. So, I think this one is just um, an addition. I mean, another help if ever you need the the um, that bigger coverage for insurance. And iriohoken, this is for treatment insurance, medical insurance. And rodosha saigai. Hosho Hoken, so if in case you got accident in your line of work, this insurance will take care of you. Koyo Hoken, we don't have it in the Philippines. This one, if you're unemployed, you will be able to receive this uh, monetary, um, uh, not just monetary. Monetary, mostly monetary um, benefit, even if you don't have work. And the last one is the Kaigo Hoken. So, this is um, when you need care, like for example, if you grow old. Oh, yeah. There's and there's there's there are requirements for this. Kaigohoken it can only be used by the elderly, sixty five years old and above. And um forty years old to sixty four years old. They're still young, right? However, they have diseases that is related with aging. Like for example, early um, stage of Parkinson perhaps. So there are 16 um, specific types of diseases that is related with aging that be the 40 years old to 64 years old um need to um be proven 
that they have those 16 diseases for them to avail this Kai Go Hokkien. So, what are those again? Nenkin Hokkien, Irio Hokkien, Rodo Sha, Saigai Hosho Hokkien, the Koyo Hokkien, and Kai Go, Kai Go Hokkien. So, there are five. So first, we will talk about Nankin Hokkien. Okay, uh, we will discuss also Hokkiensha and He Hokkienja. So these two terms, Hokkienja and He Hokkienja. Hokkiensha is the branch of the government that um, collects payment for insurances. Ho Kensha. She chose on Toka Todofuken Toka. So those are the Ho Kensha. And the He Ho Kensha, those are the people availing the services. Those are the people paying. Or availing the services. He Hokkien. So on this, okay, let's now proceed to Nankin Hokkien. As I've said earlier, there were two types under this one, right? The basic, the Kiso, Nankin. Or Kukumin. And then the Kose. There were there are two types. So under these types, there are three. This one, this one, they have the same um, terms that are used. So roll. just put it here guys because I'm lazy and then we have So it's the same here. And then the third one. So in the book, this is how it's illustrated in the here. Page sixty-eight. So, this 
so nankin. Before uh, this should be paid uh, 20 years old to 60 years old. So before this is this is the time frame that you have to pay this insurance 40 years imagine 40 years that you'll be paying however right now it's only 10 years So for foreigners like us, if ever we are able to work here in Japan and we are able to pay um, 10 years duration of Kisil Nenkin, then when we'll get, when we'll be 65 years old, we'll be able to get insurance. Or retirement, I mean, we'll be able to get retirement um, benefit, retirement money. So it's being paid within this age group, 20 years old and up to 60 years old. And there are two types, row, I mean three types, row day. Kiso Nenkin, Shogai Kiso Nenkin, and Izoku Kiso Nenkin. So if you are already able to pay 10 years, and then uh, when you um, when you will be 65 years old, you will be able to receive the Rorei Nenkin, Rorei Kiso Nenkin insurance. And just in case um, you'll be disabled or challenge um, differently abled, I don't want to use the term disabled though because these people are not really disabled, they are just differently abled. Yeah. So physically challenged, mentally challenged, or but differently able people they will um, receive shogai kiso nenkin and then the this third one um, just in case you will die your family will be able to receive um, izoku kiso nenkin so for this one, Izoku Kiso Nenkin, um, it needs to have a child. So the wife or the husband, if they don't have a child, they will not be able to receive this one. And now let's proceed to the Kosei Nenkin. The Rorei Kosei Nenkin that will also be received when they get uh, old at 65 years old. Shogai, so it's the same. Shogai Kosei Nenkin. Daizoku Kosei Nenkin. So this one even if the spouse, uh, even if they don't have a child, they will be able to 
or the partner or the spouse will be able to receive these um, benefit or insurance yeah. so let's now erase this one the same terms right okay same terms What were those again? Under Nankin, Nankin, or the Nankin Hokkien. So we have Kiso or Kokumin, Nankin, and then Kose. Kiso, Kose. Okay, so on this Nankin Hokkien as well. The Hihokenja or the people paying for the insurance, they are classified under three groups. So we have the first one the Daichigo. So the Hiho Kenja. Hiho Kenja, they, these are people. the Daichigo these are the people okay so let me show this one there are three types of Hihokenja under Nenkinhoken so please be careful because it's not only Nenkinhoken that has Hihokenja or the payers people who are paying the insurance Taigo Hoken it has also the Hokenjas so the terms are the same but different so please be careful if it's Nenkin Hoken or Kaigo Hoken he Hokenja so for the Nenkin Hoken he Hokenja Daiichigo Daiichigo are those that have their own businesses. People who have, um, who are fishermen, farmers. They are uh, 20 years old to 60 years old. Uh, less than 60 years old. So the, they are under Daiichigo. They are classified as Daichigo Hihokenja. And the Dainigo Hihokenja, these are us, the company workers. Yeah. Those who have, who are employees, these are us. And then. This one, Dai Sango, Iho Kenja. These people, they don't really pay insurance. However, these are the um, spouses, perhaps. Um, 
children 20 less than 20 years old of the employees so remember um if you pay the nankin healthcare and then you die your family will receive an insurance right so these dai sango these are the family that will receive the insurance if in case you die this is your spouse or your children less than 20 years old okay Let's now proceed. Did you get it nice? So after Nankin Hokan, we'll go to the second. Um, Shakai Hoken, the second insurance. Evio Hoken, or the medical insurance. So, medical insurance here in Japan. I mean, in the Philippines, we have Pagibig, right? That's our medical insurance in the government. You can also um, avail of private medical insurance company. Like, let me flex um, kudos to call center companies for regularizing their employees and they have their own medical insurance as well. So, I'm really biased in terms of the employers in the Philippines I prefer Americans or Australians Western than Chinese okay so Shakai Hokan Ilio Hokan Okay. Okay. So there are four types. We have can call can four types of health insurance. We have Kenko Kenko We have We didn't really Tackle this that well So I'll just let you guys search this for yourselves. So first we have the Ken Kohoken. This is the health insurance. This is the ones uh, I've used for my dental. 
So imagine last year um, for my teeth, the insurance paid 80,000, I mean 50,000 yen for fixing my teeth. So that's how I'm thankful for the Kenko Hoken. Thank you so much for um, taking care of those expenses. And we have Kyozai Kumiai. Alright, Kyozai Kumiai. This is for public um, employees, teachers. Yeah. They include this one. Kokomin and Kohoken both for um these are the this is the health insurance for those people not under Kenko or Kyosai Kumi Ai. So probably um an example maybe people who are in unemployed right because usually can kohokian are paid by employed um residents employed people here in japan so kokomin ken kohokian then the koki koreisha ken. so these are paid by um Kodesha the older people 65 years old to 74 years old so that if in case they'll need um hospitalization so yeah they'll be covered by the health insurance So the thing about um, Irio Hoken is that when you use this, it's not really fully for free. Why? The payers or the Ihokensha, they have a percentage to pay. So, for 0 to 6 years old, for the total, cover, total fee, you, um, the parents will be shouldering 20% of the payment. And then for 6 years old to 70 years old, it's going to be 30%. Will shoulder 30% and that's in the book 70 page 71 70 years old to 75 years old that's 20% and then 75 years old and above it's um, 10% so for me when I went to the dentist so the health insurance covered 70% which was 50,000 yen and I shouldered the, the 30% So we're now done with chapter 7. Thank you so much for listening. Next, we'll go to our next video. It's going to be chapter 7, which is about Kai Gohoken. So Kai Gohoken, um, as I said earlier, it also has He Hokenja the persons who are paying the insurance however the hiho kensha in kaigo hoken is different from the hiho kensha in nenki no ken so don't confuse 
the two. I always mix them together. That's what my when I get to be asked by my teacher. So yeah, just take note of those guys. Kaigo Kenno Hiho Kensha and uh Nenkin Ho Kenno Hiho Kensha are different. Okay. Goodbye for now, good night and um sleep well. Take care of your health, everyone.